Hello everyone, welcome to the Geek Road. I'm Penge and welcome back to the burgeoning empire of the Congo, 1720 AD, in the Civilization VI. No military scouts, only challenge. So yes, there are, well, scouts, rangers, but I suppose I can drop the rangers because we can't have rangers quite yet. We're, we're nearly there, we're getting toward rangers. So that's why we have all these bloody scouts for kind of anything else. And last time out... Uh, nothing particularly exciting happened, actually. I don't know. I don't know why I gave that quite the umph that I did last time out. We did bugger all. Nothing really happened. We've built some industrial zones and we're putting workshops in them. This place finally, finally built its harbour. So now we're building a lighthouse to sort of support the city growth a bit. And weirdly enough, oh yeah, there's a barbarian encampment down here that we simply can't take on because we'll just die. We need rangers for that. We need these to be all upgraded. Weirdly enough, even though I've got one turn left to discover natural history, I've kind of been given a little sneak peek at where the things are, where they're going to be. So, like here, for example, look, there's a little sort of thing. It's not officially on the map, but it's certainly the graphics are there. So maybe my guys are so close to discovering it, they've kind of gone, we found all these things here poking out the ground. Don't know what they are. They might be antiquity sites. So, um, yeah, hopefully next turn we should discover those. And the plan might be build a wonder or build a settler to go up here and found city number four. I know that's been on the cards for a long bloody time, but yeah, well, I think we might do that. Right, somebody has built the wonder Oxford University. Whoa, 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 whoa. what? My harbour has been pillaged by barbarians. Oh, for goodness sake. This bloody boat. Sod off, boat face. No, you still can't destroy it. My beautiful harbour's on fire. You sods! I've only just... Do you know how long it took me to build this? It took me several hundred years. And you come in and you just burn it. You bastards. Uh, yes, last time out we discovered that because our scouts are scouts and not military units, we can't actually attack anything in the sea. So we, we sort of embarked, disembarked. We put some units in the sea and tried to attack them, but it just doesn't let you. It just comes up with a red sort of empty circle, so you can't actually do anything. So that is unfortunate. <laughs> Bloody irritating is that. Okay, what do we want to do with our trader from Mbanza Congo? We've got a couple of them. Right, does anybody want a trade route? No. Right, Geneva gives me plus three science. That is probably worth doing because my science is rubbish. So one of them can go to Geneva. Yep, good. The other trade route, where shall we send that? Um, Kish? Uruk. That gives me quite a lot of extra stuff. Quila gives it plus two food and plus four, but I'd rather have these now. I'm not so bothered about plus four production, though. And then I've got even more. Once that's finished, my um, workshop, I'll have plus four production to help me build some extra, uh, well, to help me build wonders and things. Yeah, right, yeah, do that. Yes, quite, yeah, good. That's a good plan. Right, envoys. I had a slight change of tactic with my envoys last time. I think my plan might be to get them over to Candy and become their suzerain, suzerain. And then, when I start exploring stuff, I might find some um, natural wonders. And they'll give me a relic, which is jolly exciting. Um, if they do give me a relic, however, I need to move some stuff out of the capital's thing. I've got no room left. I've got no room left for great works. It's full of books and pictures. So, yeah, I need to um, move stuff around. But yeah, let's do that then. Now what do we want to get? So we don't care about theology, which means we don't care about divine right, which means we don't care about reformed church. So all those things are fine. I've no interest in all those things at the moment. So we're up to here. Civil engineering or nationalism. Are they the only two? Were they the only two that I got? Was that the only choice? Or theology? Yeah, oh, okay. Um, well, what about civil engineering? Why not? Yeah, let's do that. Can build farms on grassland hills and plains hills. Unlocks urban defences, giving all your cities an automatic 200 fortif fortification strength and the ability to perform a ranged attack. Ah! Oh, it's civil engineering that stops the walls doing anything. Oh, okay. Well, that grants the ability to construct an additional spy. Allows forming two identical units. Right, okay. Or that. Well, I might go for that right now, then. Nationalism. Get nationalism done. And then pick the other one, because I do want to add some extra walls. Because walls, I think, when they give you stuff anyway, but do they not create tourism and stuff? Or am I just making that up? I might be making that up, possibly. 
Right, and the trader from Quila, Quila is going to go to Umbanza Conga, because that also gives them plus four production. And I imagine that will go up once these industrial zones are completed with things in. I imagine that will go up even more. This is very good. We need one of those down here, ideally, once that lighthouse is done. And we've repaired the bloody harbour. Uh, yeah, we'll... Um, no! No, definitely not you. Sod off, boat face. Right, what we are going to do is... We are going to kill you, crappy little boat face. We are going to finally sink you. Goodbye. This is a massive problem. A barbarian frigate <laughs> floating around in the bloody sea off the coast of my harbour is not very encouraging. Can you please go away? Because I have no way to stop you. That's why I haven't put anything on these crabs, because the barbarians can just run in and just go, no, nah, pillaged. Which wouldn't be ideal. Yeah, sod off. Go down there somewhere and stay bloody there. Okay. Quila. Oh, no, it's not Quila. Yeah, it is the new place. Okay. Right, I'm... 17 turns to repair the harbour. 17 bloody turns! Okay. I don't think we can purchase zones, can we? No, we can't purchase zones. Right, this place is going to need an industrial zone. Because I need, to, I need some actual stuff. Because they are just rubbish. So let's put the industrial zone there because I get plus two because it's next to mines. Uh, I believe it because it's next to... Why do they get plus two from just there? Plus one from adjacent mines, plus one from the adjacent quarry. Oh, okay. And it's not a particularly useful bit of ground either. So let's buy it. Stick an industrial zone just there. That's going to take bloody ages. But I think in the long run it will help that place no end. Okay. It's finished. So now stuff should be done a bit quicker. Right, build an amphitheatre, quick, just in case we get great writers and things. No one's got anywhere for anything to go anymore. We've run out of room for great things. Clearly we're too great. Right, so the capital needs to build something. So we want to build an archaeological museum because we want to put artefacts in there. Because there are many, many things around us. And they're fairly easy things to get hold of as well. They're right next to us. They're not contentious. They're not going to, you know, have other people protesting about me going into their territory and getting them. Which is tremendous. So, uh, how do we build the actual guys? The um, archaeological people. Archaeologists, you could say they were called. Uh, I can't find where they are. Maybe I need one of those before I can train one, possibly. Which would make sense, I suppose. Because without an archaeological museum, what, what's an archaeologist going to actually do? Ooh, they're quite expensive to buy outright, aren't they? But I do have 2,726 gold sort of lying idle. I could spend it, I suppose. Can't buy anything with faith, can I? It's only nine turns. Let's, yeah, let's build it properly. Let's save our money for something actually useful, like upgrading our troops and things. So, yeah, Archaeological Museum. There we go. I'm just going to go and have a quick check about how archaeologists work. Okay, so an archaeologist is linked to the museum of the city that it comes from. So when I've built this museum here, I'll then be able to build an archaeologist, and when that archaeologist goes around and digs up stuff, cool old stuff, they send it back to that museum for the home city. And then you can rejig things as you like in here. You can move things around in there as much as you want. But it is reliant upon uh, them sending stuff straight back to that city's archaeological museum first. So there we go. So now we know how that works. That's fine. I've got a purple... Oh, it's gone back to the... Um, I haven't got a majority religion in my capital anymore. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so I've got siege tactics. So I can now build Renaissance walls, which is good. So what do I want to do now? Cartography doesn't seem like it's of any bloody use at all. These are square rigging and steam power. And, and then eventually it's electricity, I suppose. So it does have its place. Military tactics, I don't care about. Yeah, that's useless. So archery and military tactics are two things I'm never going to be using, hardly ever. Is it time to get gunpowder? That might be quite useful. And then we can see if there's any nitre anywhere. So yeah, let's get gunpowder, which is a little bit scary getting gunpowder, but okay. And I think we might get education next in order to get banking, possibly. But yeah, let's get gunpowder right now. Right, I have an envoy. I have two envoys. Right, okay, well let's send them both here. Let's just check how near they are to getting me. So six... For Geneva and Vilnius is 6 against 12. Right, so Candy is the only ones that I can send it to that's going to be worth anything. So let's do it. 
yeah, two more to them. Eventually, I'll be their city-state buddy, I suppose. But, yep, still get some more. 33 gold from envoys now. Oh, and the tedium of this continues. Yes, you're denouncing me once again. Okie doke. Gotcha, you don't like me. Is that because I whooped your ass in a war? Possibly. Yeah, and I see upgrading these to rangers would be useful for if she decides to declare war again, wouldn't it? Because, yeah. I did all right. It was a bit hard fought. And if she's going to come in with now better units, if she's going to come in with people with guns and stuff. Ooh, that's quite cool, isn't it? The Mahabodhi Temple. That looks good. Yeah, she's going to come in with good people. <laughs> Might be in trouble a little bit. Okay, you've built that right. Medieval walls. I think that's probably a good thing. Ooh, the great lighthouse. It's a wonder. It's an actual wonder that I could build there. Yeah, they they take too long. Actually, yeah, I might build a trader. Yeah, build a trader and then possibly build the Great Lighthouse. That might be quite a nice idea. So, yeah, we'll get a trader done, then build a wonder. Do that. Good plan. Yeah, a little nagging message about the capital needing, oh, my God, both amenities and... Is it amenities? And Banza Congo needs more housing. You could have fooled me. Oh, no, that's not for there. Oh, that's for there. Right, so Manza Congo has no amenities. That's acceptable. But it has 14 out of 15 housing, which is going to slow it down. However, this is a bit more worrying. Why have they got no bloody amenities? You've got cotton next to you. Just oh, You've got loads of shirts. Go and put them on. And silk as well. What more do you want? Uh, Jadviga's finished. The world wonder, the Haja Sophia. Yes, it was just there, wasn't it? Ah, but it's not quite updated on my map. It still looks like it's being built there, but we might send someone over to have a nosy at it. Yeah, go on. Go and have a look. Ooh, that looks good. Oh, look at that. Yeah, all right, yeah, fair enough. Yes, fair play. You can have that. That's nice. And I've got no need for it because it's a religious -y type thingy. Yeah, so can we buy... I'm going to buy a builder anyway, so purchase an item. You can buy a trader. And in time, I imagine it will make up for the... Sort of stuff that you've paid for them. Well, let's buy a builder right now. Well, you, can you purchase a trader in there? And we'll send the trader up to one of these places, which means it will probably get production, which will help you. In fact, if I build two and send one to there and one to the capital, that might be quite a good idea. That might be worth bloody doing. Okay, let's do that next turn. Okay, so nationalism, fighty, fighty stuff with national identity and big armies is done. Not really a big fan of that sort of thing. So uh, let's pick our civic first. So scorched earth is certainly not something we're interested in. That's about pillaging and burning stuff down. So let's go down civil engineering then. This might render walls useless, but that's fine. Whatever. That's the logical thing for us to do next. Okay, the trader from Mbuji May. Go to Mbanza Congo, please, because it gives you plus four production and loads of food and loads of other stuff. Why I didn't do this before, I have no idea. I'm clearly an idiot. And we are going to buy another trader for just there. Yes, good job. Okay, I thought I bought a trader. Oh, no, he's building a trader. That's fine. So will that count as six then? Once he's counted and he's built, will that be six traders? That would be quite nice. If I can make full use of that. See what this can come down to as well. Right, now if I send that one to Quila, Quila receives nothing and Bougie May gets food and production and gold. So at the minute, that thing's going to take 11 turns. Nine turns! Well, this was a tremendous idea. Then there we go. Yeah, so five out of six trade routes. He'll, his will be the last one. And I might send that somewhere abroad, possibly. I might send it to Krakow or something, just to get so from it. Why not? Why the heck not? Uh-oh. Barbars. Okay. Gunpowder. That's fine. Right. Where do we want to send you then? Um, yeah, let's send it to there. Let's send it to Poland. Yeah, because we get all sorts of cool stuff from it. We get science from it, which is always very nice because our science is rubbish as well. Oh, no. No, no, no. Right. Strike upon the boat. Attack the boat. That hardly did anything. <laughs> They need to hang around for like the next 100 years and we'll, we'll wear them down eventually. Right. The capital has finished its workshop, is that? I thought the capital had finished its workshop a little while ago. But okay, the capital has finished its workshop. The capital needs an Mbanza, I believe, now. Which is a bit... Oh no, what I could do is... 
build the settler that's going to go and settle up there. And that knocks that back down. So they don't need as much housing. So it won't be as much of a problem at the moment. Okay, and Quila has finished its amphitheatre. Hurrah. Okay, maybe a campus. Campus might be of use. Some science. or an Actually, no, you. Entertainment complex, thinking about it. Um, anywhere that's really rubbish. So this place will be alright for production. It's food they're going to miss out on. So let's put it there. Let's buy that tile. Oh yeah, we'll have to share it with this place. But that's not so bad. Or is it? I don't want to deprive them. They're crap enough as it is. Uh, oh no, I could have... Oh, bums. I could have that tile. Oh, whatever. Yeah, we've got the money for it. Yeah, let's put it there. Yes. Right, and science. What do we want now? Let's get, let's head toward banking. So we want education and then banking. So there we go. That'll do. Yeah, I'm a bit worried about what these are going to do. I don't like the barbarians being there. And we can't defend against them. We simply have no nothing. Nothing that we can do against these barbarians here at all. That is not good. Yeah, I thought here it hadn't built a workshop like it said at the top. I thought it built its... Archaeological Museum thingy. Hang on. Sent those builders to get those bananas. That's lovely. He's just on his own in his magic water camel. Has that not gone on then? It has got an Archaeological Museum. It's there because it's got a dinosaur outside it. Oh. I wonder if that's a little bug. that Because at the top it said it looked to me like it was saying it had completed its... um, Like it had completed its workshop. Which it had done a little while ago. Okay, never mind. That's no that's no great crisis. It's building a settler now, anyway. We can go and settle city number four up here. That'll be exciting. Settler. The settler is built. Okay, so there's a few places it's telling me to build. Well, okay, they're not telling me where it's, it recommends me to build. So it's telling me that there's a, these two places are good. There's a place. Recommended settlement. One, two, three. Four squares away from the capital. Are you mad? No. That's a terrible place to settle. It's too near everything else. So over here isn't too bad in terms of fresh water, but it's still a bit close. So yeah, it's weird, isn't it? The, the places it recommends for me to build. No, I'm building up here. I'm not too bothered about the lack of fresh water and stuff. It's fine. It's next to a, Actually, that's next to a mountain. So I could, in theory, build an aqueduct. I don't know if I can, because does it need to be on flat land? I don't know. Right then, capital. Let's build ourselves an archaeologist. An, what? An archaeologist, but for 14 turns. Bloody hell, can I buy one? Oh my goodness me. They are an expensive purchase. That's why they take so many flipping turns. Good lord almighty. Okay, yes, let's get one of you in play then. Why not? And can we buy a builder to go up with the settlers, please? Because otherwise those settlers are going to settle. And they're going to be in a fairly crappy bit of land. So yeah, we need to send someone up to uh, yeah, work a bit of that land. At least only to put maybe some stuff on the, on the sheep tiles. That's about it. And I might buy this tile for them so they've got some production. And I've got a great person. Please don't tell me it's a great general. Stop giving me great bloody generals. District in this tile gains plus one air unit slots. Can't use air units unless I've got flying scouts. Pass. Right, so let's move the settler onto there and they can found the city. And it's Kinshasa. Uh, is that current place Kinshasa? I think I've heard of that actually in the real world. Right, let's move you to just there. Kinshasa, can you purchase this tile for 160 gold? And the builders will build a quarry upon it for you. Bosh. Like that, in fact. Right, Kinshasa, what do you want? I think a granary might be quite good for you for plus one food. Because you are not going to have the best, the best of food productions around here until we can build you a harbour and get into the sea. Your people settle too close, so you should consider seeking land elsewhere. Sorry, big fella. Sorry, big guy. Yeah, you're right. But that's it. I'm not going to settle any closer, let's be honest. Right, these guys here. Let's build a quarry on that tile. Which, as well, should improve the thingy. Should improve that, as well, for three production. Yeah, because now it's next to another sort of industrial resource for the industrial zone of Quila. 
Okay, we can build a lumber mill on there. That's interesting. Or do we build a pasture on the sheep? Or... Ah, no, right, that's what we need to do. Yeah, we need a pasture on the sheep and then silk on that silk resource. So let's go and get the... Oh, let's do that. Why don't we go up into the corner there? Go up to there and put some a pasture on there to get us some lovely, lovely sheep. I don't know why it's telling me all the different trade route things that are coming from a different place. Like, that's lit up. Okay. You can stop telling me now. I don't know why it's doing that. It's a bit weird. And it goes all the way up there. It's sort of as though it's stuck on some sort of trade route lens type thing. I don't really care about that. Map options, show yield icons. That's sort of useful. I don't want... How do I turn that off? Turn it off. Uh, okay, right, fine. It seems to be stuck on. I mean, it's no bad thing. It's just a bit irritating. Right, it's finished building its thing. Right, I'm going to buy it a workshop. Purchase a workshop. 560 gold. That is lovely and affordable. The busy workshops of your empire hinted greatness to come. Is an industrial revolution about to commence? Right, industrialization has been boosted. Right then. Shall we build you possibly medieval walls? As defence against the uh, the bloody people that are obviously inevitably going to come and attack us, these boats. So yeah, medieval walls might be quite useful. Increases the strength of my outer defences. Right, so the trader from Mbanza Congo is back. So let's send him back to Quila again. Now I noticed, yeah, oh, six out of six. It was on five out of six, which was confusing. Right, so what does this do? So we get three food and one production. And now I get four food and two production. Okay, so education is done, and oh, and civil engineering is done. Okay, so uh, engineering, or uh, whatever it was, in immediately skipped forward to banking, which is good. However, the civic did not automatically go forward. So what shall we have? Urbanization, possibly? What does that do? We see 50 gold per appeal of tile when replacing a farm with a neighbourhood district. A bit random, isn't it? A bit weird. And military academies and seaports generate plus one science. That's not really worth having. Does Scorched Earth lead anywhere? Scorched Earth doesn't actually do anything. It just sort of ends there. So I don't care about that. Oh, awards two envoys, though. Okay. I'm going to go for urbanization, because urbanization seems to be the key to unlock literally everything else. And eventually we can get down here to all these exciting governments. But yeah, uh, this is going to be interesting as well. The naturalist, because I want to create a park, a national park as well. So that might be worth doing. Okay, what can we build? So, Quila, finally, you're on down to minus one amenity. Build yourself an arena. Stop being so miserable. Okay, seven turns into the archaeologist. Five turns into the arena. Six turns into walls. And up here is going to be a little while, I imagine, isn't it? Sixteen turns into the granary. But in a couple of turns, that might come down somewhat. Yeah, I got a great person. I hope it's not a bloody great general. A great writer. Okay, I will certainly have your stuff. I don't know if I can actually put you anywhere, though. Have I got anywhere that can accept great writing? Let's have a look. Yes, the, the amphitheater in Quila. Get down there, buddy. Get down there. Oh, you're in the sea. Oh, oh look, you... <laughs> the great writer comes with baggage, then, does he? All oh, right, I need crates of stuff. Oh, I completely forgot last time. Of course, it wasn't engineering that led to banking. It was, um, well, was it engineering? But at some point, I don't know what I'm on about. It was education, of course. It began with E. I was nearly right. But we did research gunpowder. So gunpowder has revealed nitre on the map. Now, there is some nitre out here in the middle of the bloody desert. Don't think there's any more around us, particularly. There's nowhere really obvious with it on, I don't think, that I can see. So, once again, I have not got that. Another sort of strategic resource that I don't have, because I very rarely get them, to be honest. Right, there's a bit out there. I could settle over there. That's no, If I settled there, that's not a bad place to settle. Get out, get those fish. You want to throw away from some silk, so you've got a bit of, a bit of uh, luxury coming in. Some rainforest and some forest to build your embanzas and things in. Yeah, it's not so bad building there. That might be a future city then, possibly. Okay, my large city is getting overcrowded. It's time to start planning for some suburbs. Ah, an urbanization has been boosted because I think 
Uh, yeah, here, Quila got to 15 citizens. Ah, okay, splendid. Right, Mr. Scott Fitzgerald is down here. So he's going to create this side of paradise. Amory Blaine inherited from his mother every trait, except the stray and expressible few that made him worthwhile. Yep, I can't say I've heard of him or that particular book, but there we go. Can't know them all, I suppose. Right, let's get him to build his second build. Right, his second one. The Beautiful and Damned. Yeah, okay. She was dazzling, a light. It was agony to comprehend her beauty in a glance. Oh, that's quite beautiful, isn't it? Well done, Mr. Fitzgerald. Okay, yeah, again, I don't know him and I don't know his, uh, his works. I'm sure they are excellent, though. Right, so finally they've built the arena, so hopefully that'll... Oh my god, they're still sad. You've got a place here with full of great works. You've got an, a, a little party place with merry-go-round. You've got harbour to go to. You've got beautiful places. You've got bananas and silks and cotton. And you're still miserable. You lot are pains in the ass. Okay, what else would you like? What would you like to make you happy? You miserable, miserable sods. A zoo, possibly? Do you want a zoo? Has that just not taken into effect yet? Luxury resources, three. One from civics, two from entertainment. Bloody hell. You miserable sods. Um, yeah, right, we might have to build a zoo then. I don't particularly want to build a zoo, but I might have to in order to just get them so they're not sad. Because they're probably it probably does impact, doesn't it, as well, I imagine. It does have some bearing on things. Uh, yeah, okay, build a zoo then. Okay, 14 turns. Crikey. Okay, so urbanisation is complete. So I believe in a regular game, if you're not Congo, that is where you unlock your neighbourhoods. But because the Congo is their only special, they unlock them earlier. So yeah, at this point, I'd be proper stuffed for housing. My people, their cities would not be that big. Um, I've earned some envoys. That's nice. Let's send them there and really irritate whoever... Whoever is the current uh, suzerain of candy, bosh. Now it's me, Sonny Jim, and I've earned another couple of gold per turn. Right, civic. Conservation, then. Allows awards three envoys. Yes, the more important thing is the national parks. Woods in your territory that never been removed. Old growth. Gain plus one appeal. Oh, that's quite nice. Okay, so conservation. That's what I want next. I think... We can then build a national park somewhere down here. I'm not entirely sure how we do it. Possibly there, get rid of those cattle and sort of set that as a national park or something. I don't know, because I can get rid of one cattle from down there. Now they've got a industrial zone thing in. I think they will be fine. Okay, what does this place want to do? Don't actually know what they want to do. Is anything really worth doing down there? Industrial zone logistics. Great engineer points. Ooh, that's quite tempting, isn't it? Or a theatre square. Or a campus, indeed. Heaven forbid I should have some science. Uh, okay, Nowhere Obvious gets a bonus from their campus, though. So nothing actually will gain from it. Yeah, what's that? From the adjacent district. Yeah, I don't want to put something on there. That's a farm. With plus two food. Oh, is that because it's worked, though? Oh, uh, so I could put one there and just replace the farm. And I'd at least get plus one science from that. Yeah, let's do that, shall we? Yeah, remove the farm, but build a campus. Look, science, everybody. Books and things. Ooh. Okay, so banking is unlocked, and so now I can build a bank. I can also build the Great Zimbabwe. Um, my trade routes from that city get plus two gold for every bonus resource in the city's territory. It must be built adjacent to commercial hub district with a market and adjacent to cattle. So that is very specific, isn't it? Right, can I build that? No. I mean, that is a very, very specific combination of things, isn't it, to be able to build that? Okay. I think it's time we build a wonder, then. Which one do we want? The Forbidden City or the Bolshoi? I think the Bolshoi. The Forbidden City is very good, but the Bolshoi, I think, is even better. So let's build that there. Um, it's a shame that we can't boost that in any way, because that is a long time. But yeah, go on. Go for it. Why not? Right. And here comes, he's called Kabanga. So what I want to do to end this particular part is get Kabanga. Oh, look, all my place is all contiguous. It's all lovely. Look, all the borders all merge. So it's all one great big place now. I want to get Kabanga down here 
to go and get... Oh, bloody hell, that's going to take him ages to get there. To get one of these uh, things. Does that count as an... Yeah, that's an antiquity site. Oh, yeah, let's have that one then. So let's bring him down here. I want him to go and get whatever's in that antiquity site and send it back. Because I want to know what it is. Right, tech. Tech, tech, tech. What do I want to do now? Mass production, possibly? That might be quite good for a sh yeah, not for a shipyard. That's bloody useless. And that wonders to do with boats. Don't really care. Diplomatic policy slot. That's quite good. Must be built on a hill adjacent to a mountain. Got a few of them. That unlocks bombards, but I can't use bombards, so that's not overly useful. What do I want further down the line? Rifling. What do I need for rifling now? Only four more things. That's it. We're doing that. We're going for metal casting, ballistics, military science, and rifling. Also, military science gives you the academy, which gives you another plus three production and plus one housing. The academy is actually quite good. So, yeah, we're going to go down that route. We are now heading toward rifling. I think it's important we get rifling now. Right, here he is. Kabanga is on site. Let's see what the artifact is from just here. Okay, my archaeologist has noticed petroleum seeping out of the rocks. Perhaps your geologist would like to take a look. So combustion is advanced. Okay. But what did he get? Choose artifact. My archaeologist Kabanga has discovered an ancient battlefield littered with items from barbarian at barbarians and Poland. The discovery appears to have been buried since the ancient era. Choose which nation's artifact to uncover from this site. Well, let's have Poland, because the other ones we're going to kind of go up here and up the top. So let's have a Polish artifact. Yes, please. A Polish scroll created by Jadwiga from a long while ago. And now it's in my archaeological museum. I do like that. <laughs> That's very exciting. So yes, the plan is possibly send him to... I don't know. One. There's certainly one there that could be of good value so one there but are there any more down here i might send him down here get this one and then possibly send him up there and get those i want him to go and get this one i think that looks like a good plan and then yeah send him up here somewhere on later on but yeah that's it for now oh, one more turn and that granary will be finished do you know what i'm gonna go back on what i said ever so slightly i might as well get that granary finished for here come on come on kinshasa Oh, and there's all sorts of other stuff going on as well. Right, trade route from Mbuji May. Yes, let's send it to Mbanza Kong. Or, oh yeah, should we move one of the other ones now over to the new place? Not this one. So yeah, send you back to Mbanza Congo. Yes, please. And let's pick what they want to build next. Right, they're going to build a monument because they are quick and they help culture and that's fine. So that's nice and easy to do. I do think it's a bit weird that in 1840 we're building some sort of monument. But okay, there we go. That's good. So that's it for now. I think we leave it there. That's pretty good. No one's declared war on us. We've got archaeologists. We're doing all right. We're building the Bolshoi Theatre. Yeah, we're doing okay. I'm pretty impressed with how things are going. Next time, possibly, you know, once this place has sorted out its woes with uh, uh, amenities, maybe get this place to build a wonder don't quite know what wonders they can build in there. But yeah, maybe we get them to build a wonder as well. Oh, they can build almost all of them. We can get them to build Hermitage or something. Hermitage. So yeah, we'll, we shall see what wonders they can build. And which ones are going to be the best ones. And then you just keep going. Build this place up and possibly build along here. And head toward... Oh yeah, we'll have a conservationist. So we might be able to create a national park. And we're going to trundle toward rifling, which means eventually we can upgrade all our scouts to rangers, give a bit of umph, and we might be able to take this on in the future. So, yeah, that'd be good. It'd be nice to get that barbarian encampment out of the way. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. Flying rhinos are not allowed. Pink hippos are fine, but no flying rhinos. Doing that for that length of time is making me feel very uncomfortable. You're, like, violating me with your weird zebra eyes. Get off. Mystic. Okay, this is just an acid trip. Whoa, you cheating giraffe git. Giraffe versus rhino versus hippo. If we can crash into a rainbow, then something is fundamentally wrong with the world. Who won that one? Who won? Give me some loving. Give me some loving.